This is Chef Kay. She's the master chef behind the latest culinary experience in Washington, D.C. that actually hasn't opened yet. It's called Agave Lounge. Welcome to the Agave Lounge. So on this episode, we're going to taste some of her food. Stay tuned. Georgia Avenue, honey. This bustling corridor, I like to call it the spine of Washington, D.C. And it's called the spine because it touches Maryland and D.C. Yeah. Connects all of it. Correct. We happen to be on the lower Georgia Avenue side, but you know what? We've been talking about Georgia Avenue today. We're going to eat today. We're going to <laughs> eat. Yes. We are going to the restaurant you haven't heard of. And why haven't they heard of it, babe? I mean, this amazing restaurant is not open, so we're getting an exclusive scene and tour and tasting tour. We are going to Agave Lounge and Amari's Music Bar. This is Love and Real Estate. Hi, my name is Amanda. My name is AD. And we run a local real estate company called the Dapo Group. Every week, we're gonna take you into communities and experiences in DC and the surrounding areas. Just think of us as your personal real estate agents. Enjoy the show. I am African American, my partner is Mexican, my other partner is African, so we want to use spices and seasonings from around the world and incorporate our fresh dishes. So literally this was made not even an hour ago. If you dine with us, everything is made to order, so the dough will be rolled when you order it. It will take 20 minutes because we roll the dough, it sits and how it has to sit for 20 minutes because then it's gonna have this nice puffiness to it and airiness and then it is fried at 400 degrees in avocado and agave oil. Also what we make in house and I have, this is an agave and ginger rhubarb, you see the rhubarb there shrub okay so when you get it it's gonna look way better than this but we drizzle this boom we have one person and our agave syrup that we have and then i sprinkle it with some other juices and our signature and then we drizzle some of our signature sweet herb onto this amazing dish here we have our signature sopaladas. It is a strawberry rhubarb, which is our twist on a Mexican dessert. It is vegan based and done in our agave rhubarb shrub and then topped off with some pickled rhubarb, which you see here, and fresh cilantro and basil. So it's a very nice, refreshing, tasty finish to your evening. So I'm an adult now and I can eat my dessert before I eat my main course. <laughs> and she said a whole lot of stuff, but all I see is sweetness child. That's all I see. All right, let me tell you. I'm gonna go first. I knew she was first, ladies first. Okay, hold on. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump in. She's uh, having too no, much fun. No, for real though. One second, one second. It's like grown up cinnamon toast crunch with strawberries on it. Don't you taste that? It's so fluffy. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting it, cause Light look, in. bring this camera in. Cause right here, the camera, it looks dense. But look at this, look when I bite, look at this, look at this. Mm. Look how soft that is. It's like biting into a chocolate chip cookie. It's so soft. I'll taste the strawberry really quickly. I need a fork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is, so typically you would, it will come with a spoon and fork. Mm -hmm. If we were fully open, you would have those things. But this is a tasting experience. Yes, it is. So we're gonna rough it because it tastes good, so excuse me. And then here, we're gonna have our signature, which is our grilled kava. And it is gonna 
going to be done in our signature agave sauce once again with our spices and your amazing chef k is going to whip up some actual grilled guacamole and that is going to come topped into an amazing guacamole or avocado hoss shell that we have prepared and people don't know but we keep the pits because the pits of the guacamole actually prevents the guacamole from turning brown so as a tip you'll also learn with us here at omar's music bar and agave lounge while you're eating fully sustainable so this agave grilled cava is what we call it will be sweet and spicy and it's going to come with our blue chips and you can also substitute them with carrot or celery chips as an option to be more healthier, okay? We always like to give options. Alright. Well, it's more finger food, so that, that's great. Because you know what we prefer, like, all meals should be eaten without forks and spoons, in my opinion. <laughs> like anytime I see avocado, it just, it's healthy. Yeah. And I can have a great amount of anything. And I think anytime I see avocado, I think tequila. Mm. That's what I think. Let's see where you're going with Hence, this. Hence, agave lounge. But anyway. All right, we have plants and we have traditional this is healthy and party on. Which side are we going? On the healthy side or the party side? Let's start with the healthy side. Oh, boom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this avocado. Oh, oh, yeah, that's real healthy. And Chef, can you remind me, is this the chip, uh, I mean, carrot chips? Yep, so you have okay. carrot chips, beet chips, as well mm -hmm. as some Oh, that's radishes. fresh. Yeah. That's fresh, fresh. You made that like, well, I like the chips. I like the chips. I don't know Crunch. what to do with the chips. This is a radish? Mm-hmm, mm. radish chips. I don't even know, I don't even know how you chip anything. Yeah, like, it really goes well with the avocado. Yeah. I think there's something more in the avocado. It's is sweet there something in there? Mm-hmm, we put our signature sweet agave mm. herb on it and to complex with the grill flavor actually put the avocado on the grill. I get a bag of those radish chips. Mm -hmm. Not only is it healthy, but it's also fresh. Yeah, it preserves it. Preserves it. Love that. I'm gonna use this like tomorrow. Like, like seriously, I have avocados right now that are sitting on the island. And I'm like, you, those kids are not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's our signature pineapple jalapeno salsa. So we use fresh champagne, organic champagne mangoes that also is incorporated in one of the dishes. So here we have our drunken agave salmon salad. And just look at this beauty here. It is done with artisanal local micro greenery, a local micro cilantro from our community farm. And then we partner with Browery Farms for our artisanal bed of greens on the bottom with our shard and grilled corn that we also do in house in our chili oil. And then we drizzle it with our cilantro vinaigrette and jerk yaki sauce. She was talking and I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh my goodness! You want to dig in? I, I'm just. I'm just. Where, it's where so pretty. I don't even know what to do. Let's try this. Let's try the end. You don't try to. Oh yeah. Let's try the salsa first. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's hot. Oh wow. But in a good way. And oh wow. Salmon is marinated in our mezcal and agave. Wow. Mezcal. Ooh. You got a little bit of, yeah, you got some tequila in there. So how much of this do I have to eat to get drunk? 
<laughs> that's the grill you're feeling. I see what you said about that's the That's the grill. Yeah. There's smoke in there, right? That tastes great. Mm. Everything's grilled. You got the grilled avocado, your grilled corn, the beans are actually grilled. So we add different components. It's holistic and full I'm sorry. meal. Enjoy. No, that's totally fine. <laughs> One of us she's has to a, eat it. But she's talking, I'm like, oh, okay, that's right, Chef no, 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 no. Enjoy. Oh my God. I just want to take some of that salmon here. It's so hearty. Because you know how sometimes when you grill oh. salmon, yeah. someone can actually accidentally dry it out and it's just nothing but fat and oil on the edges? Correct. This is still so meaty. Yeah. Fresh and flaky. Oh my Even gosh. Even if you marinate it, and let me drizzle a little more of that. <laughs> And that grilled avocado. Oh, and that grilled avocado right there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. That's been about eating healthy too. Like you don't feel like. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I can sit. I, I can sit here and just. And I can go back to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still light, refreshing, mm -hmm. and tasty. Yeah, I don't have that sluggish feeling. Oh my god. Man, it has been. Oh wait, we're not done. You still got. You have those. I was getting ready to close the episode out, child, because I want y'all to go, so that I can eat my food in peace. <laughs> but. And then she she wanna she wanna show us some drinks. So I'm gonna excuse me. <laughs> so we drizzle our sweet herb. This is the signature Shalifa sauce. This will be on top of your Shalifa's noodles. And you see those fresh herbs popping out the bottle. Oh my god. Trying to think where I want to start. A taste because we have more. No, oh <laughs> a taste. How are you gonna give us a whole tray of food, tray of food and tell us a taste? <laughs> well, you get to take it home. Oh, mm. oh, fresh, Mine? and it's vegan. Can you believe that? No. We want people to eat. We've traveled the world and searched for great taste. And I'm being very authentic and honest. I have never tasted anything this good. This isn't, this is vegan food. There's no meat in sight. Yeah, meat. I am. I am taking it back. No meat, no Amazed. plant processed, all natural, holistic, my fresh, eyes, local food. My yeah. eyes popped as soon as it hit my mouth. Mm -hmm. oh. Let me bring let me bring your mind's eye into the space. Okay. So this is where the live music is going to be. It's gonna be live music right here. It's gonna be table. Think of it, the energy. It's agave. And there's drinks running. Alcoholic and alcoholic. Non-alcoholic, remember. So we have your food elevator, guys. I mean, this is state of the art. Um, and this is what allows you to be able to go on multiple levels, right? So as people are having fun, the food is fresh and right on time as well. It also works for the economy of space that's in the restaurant. Yeah. So instead of having your, your waiter or staff having to go up and down the stairs, yeah. the food is going to come straight from the kitchen. Yeah. So no breaking glass, no breaking plates. No anywhere. tripping. No tripping. The food will be always arrive on this level, but there's more. Let's go upstairs. Now, we're not in a different room. Excuse me, we're not in a different restaurant. Yeah. We're in a different room. Now, this is another bar. We're on the lower level bar. This is gonna be our indoor, outdoor rooftop bar. So this is where all the brunch vibes are gonna happen. So imagine this wall covered with all sorts of libations. The energy's going. There's gonna be some small tables right here. Nice small tables and things of that nature. And then out here, this is gonna be one of only three rooftops on Georgia Avenue. So there's gonna be an active working rooftop area so that you can actually dine and enjoy the views of Georgia Avenue. Yeah, so brunch season, happy hours. I mean, the city's so beautiful during the summertime, uh. into the fall. Uh. So this is gonna get most use 
about maybe eight, nine months out of the year. This is going to be hard to get a reservation for. Yeah. Let's just be very honest. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. But we have to go back downstairs and enjoy the food. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy that view. Imagine that view. And I'm going to go get some food. We have, so everything is already pre-batched here and you are just seeing the after effects. But in everything, we have our signature shrubs that is a base that we make in-house, okay? And then that shrub is done with agave and our special formula. That's all I'm gonna tell you. With local herbs and fruits and vegetables, okay? Enjoy. She took the one I wanted to try dog on it. The chef's not supposed to do that, but it's okay. It's okay. All right. Okay. Drink time. Drink time. No, she didn't drink the one that I wanted. I wanted a strawberry rhubarb, but okay. I gotta go for the sorrow. I get it. You have to. Oh, it's sweet. Let me see. It's a sweet sorrow. Oh my God. We're actually married, so it helps to <laughs> I'm gonna reinforce to, that. To be able to drink after Now he's my other. brother. No, he's like, <laughs> that will be weird. Oh my God, that'll be so weird. Oh my gosh, and look, it's like bubbling like, like champagne. Oh, look, look at the little bubbles coming up from the sides there. You see that? Oh, that's brunch. That's brunch. That's a mimosa with no alcohol. Mm. But I still enjoy it. Like, I would love to have that bottomless. Love that. I know what she's up to. I know what the chef is up to, and she's not here so I can talk about it. She wants us to eat healthy, but she wants us to enjoy it. That's what she's up to. I yeah. have never been to a restaurant, well this restaurant's not open yet, so I still haven't been to a restaurant yet, <laughs> that has such clean food yeah. that tastes so good. Oh my gosh. Like my energy. I'm, I'm not tired. I'm alive. Um, everything's locally sourced. That's why you still get the freshness. Nothing is warmed up. Everything is made. You get cocktails. Mocktails. Like I, the point of a good cocktail is that it's something interesting yeah. that you're drinking. And I'm drinking something interesting with not a lick of alcohol in it. Yeah. So my kidneys are good. I'm not dehydrated. This is tonicky, And it still has that fizz like I'm drinking champagne. Yes. Can you imagine if we add a champagne to this? Wait, 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 nope, healthy. We're thinking healthy. <laughs> Guys, you have to come to the Agave Lounge when they open up. They are opening up in 30 days. Yeah. As you can see, it's still a work in progress. Look at the beautiful mirror behind us. So what I really appreciate about this entire experience is just a reminder of supporting our local businesses and being involved in the community. And places like this, I mean, this is a phenomenal place that's gonna open up. The reason why they're able to do so is because of people like you, people like you know, like us, supporting them every day and- I Paying wonder... full price and not looking for it. Like, honestly, that stuff matters yeah. because you wouldn't want anyone to be cheap with your dream. So when you see places like this, make sure that you show up and support these restaurants and send and, and share it yeah. with people because this, this, you just can't, you can't duplicate this. Yeah, this has been amazing. I've enjoyed this entire experience and we're gonna come back. And we're coming with no <laughs> Oh, we're the most definitely coming with it. So let's, rem so let's remind you, we are at Agave Lounge mm -hmm. and Amari's Music Lounge. You can Google either one and it is led by Chef K, which is Chef Shalifa. She also has another restaurant, but again, I told you, we're gonna go to her space and we're gonna do a whole experience around her entire restaurant. But, guys, it's been fabulous. Where are your fate? Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was, just, I was agreeing with you. I was just gonna say, of course, it's been amazing. It's so much fun today. We are your favorite real estate couple, Amanda. AD. And of course, this has been another wonderful tasting experience of Love and Real Estate. And until then, guys, you know what to do.